Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial I am going to show you a super easy way to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's go ahead and get started with this example as you can see right here. So the very first step that I want you to do is I want you to put down positive, negative and positive signs always you must do that way now let's go ahead and multiply these signs with these numbers on the top so this simply become when you multiply this become positive 3 negative and negative become positive 2 and this simply become positive time negative become negative 5 so our new top row has become what positive 3 positive 2 and negative 5 you just ignore now these numbers over here so the next step what we're going to do is i want you to just look at these numbers positive 3 positive 2 and negative 5 i am going to just write down positive 3 right up here and then i want you to just put down a box right up here and then I want you to put down this positive 2 next and put down once again the box next to it and finally I want you to put down this negative 5 right up here and then another box right up here. So once you have taken care of that one, so the next step is going to be what? Look at these. So these is going to become two by two determinants. Okay. Now let's focus on this positive three right here. This is same as this positive three. I want you to simply block or hide this column that contains positive 3 and block the top row that contains positive 3 as well. So can you tell me what are going to be unblocked numbers? So for sure those going to be these numbers 0, 8, negative 4 and what? 0. Now let's focus on this positive 2 which is right up here. So look at this positive 2. So positive 2, we're going to be repeating the same process. I want you to block or simply hide the column that contains positive 2 and also the row that contains positive 2 as well, which is the top row. So the unhidden number going to be what? It's going to be a 0. Uh, this is going to be a negative 1, 8, 6, and 0. I want you to put down those numbers right up here. So it's going to be a negative 1, 8, 6, and what? 0 in the same order. And now finally, look at this negative 5, which is right up here. So now we want to, I want you to hide this column that contains negative 5 and the top row that contains negative 5 as well. So the unhidden or unblocked number is going to be simply these ones which is negative 1, 0, 6 and negative 4. So let me go ahead and put down those numbers right up here. So the next step is right now we got these three two by two determinants we're going to go ahead and simplify these ones right up here let's go ahead and take care of this thing as you know we always do like this thing cross multiply this way zero times zero i'm going to just put down right up here and right after that one i want you to put down minus sign and after that i want you to cross multiply the other way around eight times negative 4 become what negative 32 so once we have a two negative sign next to each other so they multiplied and become what positive 32 so the value of this determinant turns out to be what 32 so I am going to write down this positive 3 and then times the value is this turns out to be what 32 and then the next one over here I'm going to be doing the same thing positive 2 
times, let's go ahead and find the value of this determinant. Once again, negative 1 times 0 is what? 0. Then you put a minus sign right after that one and cross multiply the other way around. 6 times 8 is 48. So 0 minus 48 is negative 48. So I'm going to put down negative 48 right up here. So the next thing I want you to just put down this negative 5 and then we're going to find the value of this determinant which is negative 1 times negative 4 is what? Positive 4 and then I want you to put down minus sign after that and then cross multiply the other way around which is going to be what? 6 times 0 is 0 so 4 minus 0 is 4 so I want you to put down 4 right up here. So the next step is going to be I want you to simply multiply these numbers. Positive 3 times 32 is going to be positive 96. Positive 2 times negative 48 is going to become negative 96 and this simply become negative 20. As you can see, this positive 96 and negative 96, they cross out and our complete answer is going to be what? Negative 20 to this 3 by 3 determinant and that is your answer. Thanks for watching.